Ah, te amo. I love you. Hey, welcome. This is Vito's Italian Cucina. I'm Vito, and I'm glad you're with us today. We got a wonderful day today, like we always do here at the Cucina. You know, I'm going to tell you something. Familia, family, love, music, and a lot of fun. That's what you need to do every time you cook, because, you know, food is a celebration. And I tell you what, we're going to celebrate today. Guess what we got going here today? Bow tie pasta with some chicken and all kinds of other ingredients, and we're going to tell you all about it. Look at this, Maron. Is this beautiful or what, huh? Is this good looking? Don't you love it? Come here, I'm going to show you what we got cut up here today. We got your asparagus, and the asparagus has been sliced diagonally. Really nice. We got a bunch of that right there. Then we got these beautiful mini peppers. Look how gorgeous that looks. Isn't that great? I'm going to tell you, look at that. Watch it. Mm. Wow. That's sweet. I wish you could taste this. It's great. Get yourself some of these babies. You're going to love it. And we're going to show you what we're going to do with these a little bit later. But right now, I'm going to take you around here. I'm going to show you what else we got. We got your nice lemon juice right here. I love these flowers. Look at these flowers. This is God's gift right there, huh? Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. And then, of course, we have your capers. You like capers? You ever tried capers? I'm going to tell you something. Capers are great for you. I love these things. Mmm. No. Beautiful. You love the taste. It has a lot of flavor. I want to tell you something, though. Salt content. It's kind of high. You got high blood pressure? Watch how much you use of these. Or don't use them at all. And over here, we got some sale. Salt. And over here, we got some burro. That's burro. Butter. That's right. And we have some pepe. I love the pepper. Nice. Little parmesan cheese. Hey, I'm not on it. Parmesan cheese. You're going to love it. Is. And we got a little bit of flour. Okay. I'll show you what to do with the flour later. Some garlic. Ayo. Oh, maron. Can't do it without that. And of course, some Italian seasoning, which you, I know that you're going to love. And then we come over here and we get some red sun dried tomatoes. Right? Look at those babies. These, these, these are just, mmm. I got to have, I got to follow the camera. Watch it. I'm going to go Can you follow me? Oh, these are great. I love this too. And then, of course, we have our pasta over here. See the pasta right there? But guess what? Before the pasta, follow my finger. Lippo the wino. We're going to add a little bit of Chardonnay, some white wine. Now, remember, <clears throat> this is just for flavor, okay? The alcohol in here will get cooked off. So if you don't want any alcohol in there, you don't have to do it. You can get non-alcoholic wine, okay? But we're going for the flavor here. So this is what we're going to use today. We got this is for the sauce. Then I'm going to make a nice cream garlic lemon sauce here. Pasta in the pan, which is going to have some pepper, some salt, garlic, all kinds of other little things in there like butter and some Italian seasoning. And then we have all the flour over here. And that is going to be for the chicken. That's right. That's what we're going to do last, the chicken. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the asparagus and we're going to mix it together with the peppers and put it in the pan. Okay? But I want to tell you something. Bow ties. That's the whole gist of this whole thing. Bow ties. And we love these. Aren't they pretty? I love this, okay? Put this around my neck like that. I love it. Bow ties are beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Now I got to figure out how to tie this thing, though. You know what I'm saying? I can't. How's that? Good? All right, here we go. All right, so uh, what we're going to do first is uh, I told you we're going to mix these two together, right? But first what we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, Chardonnay, the white wine, and some lemon juice. And we're going to come over, oh, to the stove. I feel so elegant. Come on over. We'll go ahead and pour a little lemon juice in here. Whoa, my own, I love it. Some, some little bit of white wine like that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to let that simmer. For now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour in the flour. Okay. Just like it is. And then we're going to go, to go ahead and I'm going to use the other hand because I'm right-handed. And we're going to put in the, the non-fat cream. We're going to get it stirred. Get it going here. Just like it is. And uh, you, this is the time where you could uh, sing it to your food. I like it is. So you stir in the nice and nice. Uh, and you get it going. You don't want any lumps in there, baby. And okay. So I think it's looking pretty good, guys. Look at that. All right. I think we're ready to go. So let's go on over to the stove and go ahead and stir that in here now. Okay. It's been simmering a little bit. That's all you want to do. 
and you go ahead and you stir it in just like this, okay? And you stir it, stir it, stir it. Really nice. Good. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of butter to this now. Very good. We'll get some butter. Here we go. And we're going to get about a half, a half a stick of butter and whatever you want to use, which is really not bad. Go ahead and put that in there like that. I'm going to go ahead and chop that up just like this. I'm going to show you how to do this. This is so simple. You know what I mean? Just like it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go come over and I'm going to, you stay right here while I'm doing this because I can reach across here. And I'm going to get a little bit of garlic, okay? So here's the garlic right there. I'm going to put that like this. I'm going to put some garlic in there and mix it right in. Oh, this is going to be wonderful, folks. Go ahead and put a hefty amount in there. I love that garlic sauce, man. Woo, baby! I love that stuff. Really good. And we'll put a little bit of this stuff in here. Just a little tiny bit of a little bit of Italian seasoning. Just a knife. So it doesn't overpower it. You know what I'm saying to you? And then I'm going to get a little pepper. A little pepper. Just like that. And then I'm going to get a little sale. And of course, this is non iodized sale. This is the, the salt. Okay. Himalayan or Sicilian salt. Right? Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to whip that together. So let me get these two items right here. Let me come at you. Watch this. Let me follow you around. Okay. Let me see if you can follow me around. I like to do this to our operator, Jimmy the Big. How's it? How am I doing, Jim? You all right? Doing you great. Me? Doing great. Are you doing good? Steady, huh? steady, Stay with steady, me, baby. Okay. Stay with me. How's that? Whoa! Oh. Hey! Okay, come on. We're going to come over here. Go ahead and put these babies in there just like that. And we put some red sun-dried in there just like that. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to get some of these, what do you call these things, huh? Peppers. That's right. The tiny peppers. And we're going to go ahead and put those in there just like that also. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and mix that around like that. Get them going. We'll let that saute. And it's going to be wonderful, huh? All right. Do I have to say anything more? Look at that, huh? Maron. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that saute a little bit more, okay? And I just want to let you know that on our wonderful garlic, lemon, herbs, sauce, a little bit of butter in there, it's off now, nice and smooth. That's a wonderful taste. You're going to love that. So let's go on over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to deal with the chicken now. And this is some nice fillets right here, really, really nice. I took, I only, this is just, this is just two fillets. What I did was I sliced them thinner. So it cooked better that way and everything, okay? So now in this flour, we have a little bit of uh, salt, pepper, and some seasoning, okay? And then we'll add a little bit of garlic over there. So here we go, folks. This is one of my favorite things to do, by the way. We go like this and like that. Just, it's that simple. You know, don't worry about making a mess because that way you know you're having a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Look at that, huh? Maron. Jeez, look how simple that is. Man, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? Okay, that's enough for that. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the pan just like so. Can you see that? We'll get this off the fire just like so. Man, those peppers look great, don't they? Wow, we. All righty then. We got that pan going over there. Now it's time for the old chicorino here. So let's come on over. Right now I got a little garlic in there, a little bit of butter, a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to add everything else here. So let's get the pans all warm in there. We're going to put it right down in there. Listen to the sizzle. I heard nothing. Not very much, but it's okay. So we put this in here like this, and like that, and another piece like that. All right, got it in there, sauteing, and I'm going to add a little bit of a Italian seasoning in here. Not so much, just a little bit like this, just like that. And you stay right there. I'm going to get the rest of the stuff. A little bit of pepe in here, just a tiny bit, folks. You don't want too much of everything, you know what I mean. Just a little bit, just enjoy yourself, folks. This is the great part about it. Celebration, foods a celebration, then a little bit of sala in there, spread it around like that. And then now what I'm gonna do is put a little garlic on top of here, like I said before, just on top. Look like that. Oh man, you're gonna love this. And then now capers. I love capers. Again, watch out for the salt content in that because it is a little bit high, and if you got a problem with high blood pressure. Just cut down on this or don't use it at all. It's really okay. I just like to put it in there. 
Now you can hear that sizzle, baby. Now you can hear that sizzle. There you go. We'll let her go just like that. All cooking in just like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out of there, just like this, put them on the side, just like this. Stop them from cooking. Don't want to get them too dry. Leave the capers in there. Look at those capers right there, huh? And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take the saute like that and put it in a hot pan. Ah, we're going to get that going again for you just like that. Okay, put it back over here. Get it all heated up. I love that. You're going to love it. All right, here we go. Now it's time, okay? We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of pasta in the bowl. This is how you do this, folks. You just mix it up like this, okay? Just like that. Okay, come over here, I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, and then we're gonna get, this is all ready to go, folks. Just like that, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and mix this in together like that, look at that. Holy cats, are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me, folks? I'm gonna put the whole thing in, I love that, okay? Just like that, okay? Mix that up together just like this, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, man, 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 you gotta be kidding. We need the sauce, which is all heated up and ready to go. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna pour a little sauce over the whole thing, just like this, okay? Watch this, it's that simple. You don't wanna get too much on there, okay? And you wanna go ahead and mix it together, okay? Just like that, okay? So, nice little cream sauce, look at that. Gorgeous, it's gorgeous, huh? Like that. Look at that, just right, folks, just right. Killing me. You're killing me. Okay. Now I'm gonna get a little parmesan right here. And we'll just pour a little bit of parmesan on top just like that. So we can mix that in together, just like that. Look at that. Okay. And we'll go like this. Okay. And we're gonna put that like that. Like that. I'm gonna go get the chick. Here's the chicken chicken chicken. Right? And we got this plate which is sitting right here for you. Okay. Look at that. We'll put that chicken right there, just like so. Only one piece. All right, so you know what? I'm going to be generous. I'll put you two pieces just like that. Okay, that's nice. And then I'm going to go like this. Okay, we got some peppers. Put the peppers in there, just like so. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, just like that. Look at that. And then I'm going to put that pepper on top. I love that. Look at that. Ooh, baby. I love it. Okay, and then final touches, folks. Final touches. A little bit of drizzlino here. Just a little bit of drizzlino, just like that. Just like that. Hmm. And what do you gotta say about that? Watch this, folks. Hmm. Hey, my on, huh? By the way, these recipes will be on vitositaliancucina.com. Take a look at it, and we'll also have it on this show. So. Hope you enjoyed yourself this week, but don't go away, I got something else for you.